Doug Kide here at Super Bowl Radio Row with Nora Princiati of The Ringer. Nora, how are you doing today? Great, Doug. I'm really just, it's a, it's a thrill to be here with you. We used to cover the New England Patriots together. Um, and then there was a little thing called a global pandemic, uh, still unfortunately ongoing. But now we get to be here both in, in new We're roles. Back. And it's just very exciting. We're reunited. It really warms my heart. Do you know what I want to talk to you about today? Um, I do, because we talked about this beforehand. <laughs> yes, that's the Kyler Murray Instagram drama. He has deleted everything from his Instagram. Uh, he supposedly unfollowed the Cardinals. I want to know who the people are who monitored this to see who someone does and doesn't follow and then stops following them. But what do you make of this in general? Um, so I think it's weird. I think it's, it's sometimes... I, I would be remiss if I did not mention that he also deleted a lot of photos of his family. <laughs> it seems as though there was sort of a holistic Instagram cleanse going on over in Aaron Kyler Murray land. Vibes. Strong Aaron Rodgers <laughs> vibes. Um, it does seem like there's enough smoke there that maybe it's not like a full-blown fire situation. But I, I don't know that things in Arizona Cardinals land have seemed totally happy-go-lucky lately and there were some weird things that came out in the aftermath of the the instagram cleanse like larry fitzgerald right spoke on this in a way that seemed kind of like someone had asked larry fitzgerald to maybe go say some things about kyler staying or going it all seems rather fishy um for a team that should feel pretty good right they have a good young quarterback it, just seems like the vibes are off in a way that is concerning to me. I feel like this stuff is rarely nothing. Like yeah. last year when Russell Wilson's agent just, you know, randomly threw out four teams that he would be traded yes. to, to Adam Schefter, yes. you know, that's kind of carrying on into this year. Now, this is an interesting situation because Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury, the Cardinals head coach, share an agent. So it would be interesting and odd if Kyler Murray did want out of Arizona. Um, but like I said, this stuff, usually there's something behind it. And I don't know if Kyler Murray would say something about it at this point, but it is just out in the ether now. And a lot of people are talking about it. Yeah, well, Kyler doesn't seem like the personality type to really make a super loud fuss. I guess you could argue that if a holistic Instagram cleanse is, is noisy in the way that it gets processed, but it, it, it it's, I can see him having some issues with how that offense has been designed, how they've regressed towards the ends of seasons. I think some of the team building decisions you can take a lot of issue with just in terms of the number of like 2014 all-stars that they've gone out and gotten. Mm -hmm. And I actually think a surprising number of those moves have worked, but if you're Kyler, I, I, I can see, I can see how the way that things have gone there could create festering tension. So, what actually comes of this? Do you think? Do you think that Kyler Murray is on the Cardinals in 2022 and 2023? Ooh. I definitely think he's on. The, I, I really think he's on the Cardinals in 2022. I, I probably would say he's still on the Cardinals in 2023. I just don't think that it, it is football malpractice to let a young quarterback that talented get away. And ultimately, the team is going to be the one with control. Um, there are some relatively nice looking landing spots. If for some reason this were to escalate to the point of no return I, I can see pittsburgh maybe being an interesting fit but i don't think that i mean look we went through this with rogers we went through this with wilson last year both of those guys at various points it seemed like no they're not going to do it they're going to leave and neither one of them left those are two guys who are much further along in their careers and have had a lot more time one to be upset by how things are going but also, too, to get to the point where the team could justifiably say, like, OK, we've gotten what we're getting out of this relationship and it's time to sort of turn over a new page. I, I genuinely think, I mean, think of the Cardinals drafting Josh Rosen, immediately moving on and then 
screwing up the Kyler thing in a matter of years. Like, I don't think we can let this happen. It's yeah. probably someone's got to lose their job if, if that's going on. Well, yeah. And I think Cardinals fans wouldn't mind that. But um, yeah, I don't think Kyler can do that to the Cardinals after they gave up on Josh Rosen, drafted him, and then did this. But the more quarterbacks that are out there that we're talking about as being True. trade candidates, True. the more fun it is. So I hope that Kyler Murray's happy in Arizona, but I don't mind the fact that this is happening. Like full musical chairs. Yes. I mean, maybe they can get Aaron Rodgers. Maybe they can get Russell Wilson. Maybe they can get both. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Nora. Where can people check out your stuff? The Ringer NFL Show and TheRinger.com. I am on Twitter at Nora Princiati. Good luck spelling that. I wish you well. Um, and I'm on Radio Row, you know, just in the mix, hanging awesome. out. Well, thank you. Thank you, Doug.